Well, don't get me wrong. I love the book. Read it cover to cover. Twice. Then I put it down and had a great night's sleep. Haven't had one of those since I came to this fun house. Is your bed uncomfortable? Oh, the bed is fine. It's all the other stuff that's been keeping me awake. Cold drafts, whispering voices, footsteps in the hall, footsteps on my ceiling, footsteps under my bed, footsteps on my bed, random stuff moving around. But last night, slept like a baby. All because I read the book and am starting to learn. Is it crazy that I'm actually kind of enjoying this? I am so glad you did not get spooked and run out of here. Facing the unknown can have that effect on people. I mean, I might have considered it. A couple times. But I'm glad I stuck around. Because of our friendship? Yep, that. And the fact that there was some kind of shadowy thing lurking in the hallway outside my room most nights. I didn't dare open that door. I will have to figure out your next lesson. It should probably involve some sort of artifact. The more ancient and forbidden, the better. I will see what I can do. Well, I can't express my thanks enough. You're taking all the spooky stuff and making it a little less spooky. Well, I guess you will have to come up with a new nickname for Strange, then. Oh no, he stays Dr. Spooky. I may be getting comfortable with all the oddities around the Abbey, but he still weirds me out. You can tease him all you want, but you should know that he is still the Sorcerer Supreme. His understanding of the Arcane far surpasses mine. Well, don't sell yourself short. You know a lot. Probably more than you let on. Between the two of us, we have to give Strange a run for his money. I should probably put some thought into a suitable artifact for you to study. Oh sure, I'll be fine here. And if I see anything floaty and undead, I won't even yell. 